Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And a very good day to everyone So let's continue with our tutorial Topic 3, Sequences and Series But today's session will discuss on the Binomial Expansion or Binomial Theorem Okay, to expand an expression Let's say you are given this expression so, you are given x plus 1 over x to the power of 3. So, you must see at the power. So, the power is 3, which is positive. So, you can use binomial theorem to expand this expression. So, how to do that? So, start by the first term where n is 3. So, you find the 3, 0. 3, c, 0. And then x will be to the power of 3. And then 1 over x to the power of 0. So next will be 3, 1. And then x to the power of 2. 1 over x to the power of 1. So you follow this pattern for the next term. So you have 3, 2, 3c2. And then x to the power of 1. And then 1 over x to the power of 2. So see? That the power of x will be decreasing from 3 to 1 and the last one will be 0. While the power of 1 over x, the, the other term, will be increasing from 0, 1, 2 and the last one will be 3, c3, x to the power of 0, 1 over x to the power of 3. So this is the binomial theorem. So, how can we expand this expression? So, now you can use your calculator. Find the 3C0. So, this will give you 1. This will also 1 over x to the power of 0 will give you 1. So, 1 times 1 times x to the power of 3 will give you x to the power of 3. And then for this one, will give you 3. And then you have x squared. And then 1 over x. So, you can simplify this. Okay. And then you have 3 and then x, and then 1 over x squared. And then here also, you can simplify this. Okay, and then the last one will be 1, and then you have 1 over x to the power of 3. So now you can write down the final answer. So we have x to the power of 3, plus 3x, plus 3 over x, plus 1 over x to the power of 3. So this is the expansion of x plus 1 over x to the power of 3. Now you can continue with b, c and d on your own by using the same pattern of binomial theorem. Okay, now let's discuss number 11a. So, in each of the following expansion, find the term as stated. So, actually, to find the term in p to the power of 4, q to the power of 6, you can expand p this expression. So, which is quite long. Okay, so you can expand this. So, we have p minus 3q squared to the power of 7. So this one will give you 7, 0, and then p to the power of 7, and then you have negative 3q squared to the power of 0, and then plus 7, 1, and then p to the power of 6, negative 3q squared to the power of 1, and then plus 7, 2, P to the power of 5 and then negative 3q squared to the power of 2 next you have 7 3 so we have P to the power of 4 negative 3q squared to the power of 3 
so plus blah 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 okay so actually you're just interested in p to the power of 4 so it means that here is the term so which is which is here will be p to the power of 7 and then plus blah 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 and then plus here will give you will give you negative negative 945 945 negative 945 then p to the power of 4 and then q to the power of 6 so the term so the term in p to the power of 4 p to the power of 4 q to the power of 6 is so the term in P to the power of 4, Q to the power of 6 is negative 945 to the power of P to the power of 4, Q to the power of 6. This is one way to find the term in P to the power of 4, Q to the power of 6. And you have another way of doing this without using the expansion. So how can we do that? Okay, so or okay, so we have another way of doing this. Let me show you. Okay, so or so this is another way of finding the term. So you know that T R plus one should be equal to seven. Seven is the power the highest power. 7 r and then you have p to the power of 7 minus r and then you have negative 3 q squared to the power of r so this is the the formula for the tr plus 1 the r plus 1 term so from here from here since you want p to the power of 4 so when 7 minus r is equal to 4 so from here you get p uh, sorry r is equal to 3 7 minus 4 which is equal to 3 so therefore the term term in p to the power of 4 q to the power of 6 will be 7 r is equal to 3 and then p to the power of 7 minus 3 which is equal to 4 and then you have negative 3 q squared to the power of to the power of 3 so this will give you 7 3 and then negative 3 to the power of 3 and then p to the power of 4 q to the power of 6 and finally this will give you answer negative 945 to p to the power of 4 q to the power of 6. So, this is another way of finding term in p to the power of 4 q to the power of 6. It's either you expand this expression until you get the term or you can use the formula of the term. So, where t r plus 1 equal to 7 r p 7 minus r negative 3q squared to the power of r then you find r and lastly you just substitute into the tr plus 1 formula so therefore you will get the answer the answer this one will be p to the power of 4 is that clear class okay now we can have a try on number 11b and 11c so this time we want to find the term in x to the power of 4 so the best way is you will use the tr plus 1 formula and then same as this so where constant term constant term meaning the power of x will be 0 then you can have a try on number 12 as well 
So that's all for today's session.